it's going to be very hard to actually contain piracy or to curtail it or to to deal with it you know even as big as hollywood is with all the technology and everything they still have difficulty like you know you know curbing piracy um we we are suffering it big time too what we just try to do is to look for other avenues hence hence the market we have today like by hence the cinema hence trying to revive the cinema in Nigeria, you know, and, you, you know, watching our local content movie on the cinema in Nigeria, which would balance out for, you know, before now it was just making movies and putting straight to DVDs. Now you can actually, you know, do cinemas. Also now you can do internet and cable, and now we have cable. So we have alternative markets that actually, you know, kind of like balances the, you know, that piracy issues that would would have definitely uh, um, uh, run down our industry, uh, you know, you know, destroyed Nollywood. Well, we, we started Nollywood without. It's like you saying uh, Nollywood started off from you know, like what we have in the Bible, you know, making bread out of stones, right? So. When we did it, it was all about passion-driven people. They weren't looking out for, you know, the remuneration or the benefits of it, at, you know, in the long run. No, they weren't. They weren't thinking about that. So it was only about just making the movies. So there was no other body, no other body or practitioner. Like, for instance, in Hollywood, you realize that, that every department is like an industry by itself. And there's a huge lot of people, like industry all together, come together to make movies, to make a film. Now you have the directors, you have the producers who actually had a creative mind behind this, right? Then you have the marketers who market the job. And that's a different department entirely from the director's work or the producer's job. The producer actually looks for a good movie and thinks, okay, this will be very marketable, right? Gets a good director to bring it out, you know. Finally, they brought it out with good actors. Now they, they push it on to the marketers. Marketers sell, right? So you have all of these departments that actually would have we, we started we didn't have all of that. We just have we just had creative minds, came together and just started making movies without thinking of how to sell it. Or how better to actually make our returns when we get invest uh, in investments and all of that. So you see, and that's gone on for a long time. The truth is we do not have an industry. But that's why we're saying all of this will be factored and structured in in time. We don't have an industry, but we will have an industry. I belong to the AGN Actors Guild of Nigeria, likewise the Directors Guild of Nigeria. These are two colleagues, you understand me? It's not like uh, they're from different different backgrounds the same background but they're just you know antagonizing themselves and fighting for the leadership you know thingy and th that's bound to happen it's just that because it's nollywood and they're always in, on a tabloid on the paper it makes it pretty hard i'm a creative minded person but the truth about comes to realize that usually when you see Unequivocally, without a doubt, I will never be there, or you never find me there. Nah. So you circumstances might even make you do things. You well, know. Now? Personally, I'm not really. I'm not a keen person. I don't know. I'm not very, very good at dealing with politics. It's really, really tough for me. I'll be very honest. Uh, a few of my colleagues, just very few. I don't know too many of them. I have maybe like one or two, or th two or three of them, out of all the the huge. AGN people that you have, Actors Guild, Actors people that you have around. So it's not enough to start saying that every actor is probably going into politics now. Oh yes, no, no, that's not even, that's not getting involved in politics. That's like um, um, going for those who you believe can be your leader. That's not getting involved in politics. Well, I, I, I don't know about that. Like, I can't get, I, don't, I wouldn't know if they get as deep or they get personal funds. But I know that this disposition has given the, this industry a little boost, and not just a little, but a very good boost by creating grants and all of that. You understand, provided for the industries where people can actually access them. 
for instance, directors on this um, in this movie, this clip I'm shooting right now, they got some very very good grant from the from the government. They send them abroad to go and do a very a very brief course, not just them, but a couple of other directors that benefited from such, and that's a good thing. You understand what I'm saying? They've given a whole lot also to the industry to grow, you know, to help the industry grow. They've established AGN in Abuja, give them a landed property and give them a house, um, a place there so they can have their, their, uh, their headquarters there. So, I mean, which, there, there hasn't been none of that. And when we support that, that is what we ask for, for the benefit of the general, for everybody, not singularly. So it's not as if individually people are going to like, you know, source of funds for their own personal pockets. It's like collectively we want you to help our industry grow. And then the government actually gave us ears. Oh yes, but of course, um, there's an establishment of the Oscars committee, the Oscar committee here in uh, Nigeria that we, that I'm part of the, um, this committee member, which of course, it, it talks about um, shooting movies. 51% of dialect, you know, before you can, you can get nominations in the Oscars. Do you get what I'm saying? So it means that it needs to be, be like, you need to speak 51 local dialect, 51% local dialect in the movie for you, to, for you to qualify, you know. Now, of course, that, that means that there is no segregation. Don't get me wrong. Where you have the houses independent of the Yorubas or independent of the Igbos or no, 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 no. They all come together. But it's just that it's going to be confusing in a movie to have different of those dialects to all be packed in one. However, it can still fly. <laughs> yeah, it's not as if it won't fly. It's just going to be like a complex thingy, but it will still fly. However, people independently shoot. That doesn't mean that they are independent of the Igbos or independent of the Yorubas or no. It's still the same un umbrella, Nollywood. Yes, yes. Very obvious issue Yeah, I'm sure you probably see that in the background very soon. The setup and all of that. Yeah. So are you also playing log row like all this play? Yes, yeah, typical, isn't it? I'm very. It's like a cliche, <laughs> like stereotype. Everything, the love row. Yeah. Well, a bit of love, a bit of thriller, and all of that involved. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a summary? Like, if I want oh, to laugh at you. Yeah, it's just a simple story where he's in love with this girl, but he has a family background that. Um, He's lost all his family members, yeah, from his brother, his mother, everyone is dead. And there's this, you know, typical from the village setting where it's like an omen, you know, where um, all your family is dead and one person is left. So it's like uh, you probably did something and your family is cursed. That, it, that we, meaning that, that your family is cursed. That your family is cursed, meaning that uh, all, every member of your family will surely die. Right? So he falls in love with this girl after, you know, scouting for so much. And then the girl's family found out that this is where this guy is from. And then they won the girl and, and uh, you know, mandated her not to marry because this guy will soon die too. Like of every, every member of his family. Yeah? So with that, um, he left her and he was heartbroken. He became demented, you know. And somehow he got, he got himself back and you're playing the role of that guy ah yes i am playing the role of that guy who falls in love very stupidly and annoying <laughs> <laughs> story of my life ramsey no lover boy good lord when would that change i want to be a bad guy now you know hmm. play the bad boy gunslinging and all of that i'm not a casanova person i'm, I'm, a, I'm a realist I'm a, I'm a realist in everywhere. Even my love and expression, I tell the girl, like, look, I believe in 50-50. You get what I'm saying? So it's 50. You want to give me, you show me 50 love, I show you 50 love. Yeah, I like a situation where we balance it. Play this love, love ass rule in all movies, actually. 99% of it. Who competes with you in terms of the Oh, character. Right. Yeah, yeah, of a lover boy. Lover boy. Yeah, there's a whole lot of people that are competing. They're not competing. They're well, probably even at par. The likes of uh, Nonso Diobi was one. Mike Zoria is two. Uh, John Dumelo uh, from Ghana, uh, Majid, Michelle, these are all lover boy characters, isn't it? Mm. Only G Mike is the, is the karate <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> I went there for a diploma, no I didn't finish, I just I did a diploma for one year, that's all.
uh -huh. so after which you proceeded to it's with like doing movies and then doing yeah online uh, movies and directing and all of that No, 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 no. No, no, not at all. Yeah. It's not from any other place. Blah blah blah. Do you recognize anybody in, that, in this set of photos? None. Why? <laughs> they usually write things in the back. Elizabeth Noah. Hmm. This is my newborn baby by the name of Diola Noah. Nah, I don't. Why so? Who are these? So I was told that uh, you belong to this family and that that was your sister when you were <laughs> very young and that uh, I think it was, they said, someone said it was during uh, the period of maybe civil war and then there was, you know, people scattered and then you got missing somehow, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, uh, no, no, not, no, none that I know of. My mother never told me any of this, like sister, whatever, no. Besides, this is my father is my father is mixed. My father is not. Is my mother that's from Mondo? Okay. And my father is mixed. He's Lebanese Israeli, so hence the name Noah. And my Noah is not even spelled like the regular Bible Noah, which is N O U A H. It's N O U A H. Okay. So that probably some other different Noah, not mine. Mondo well, State. Uh, I've been to Ondo like a long, long time when I was young, but not to go. My mother, I grew up with my mother. It's my father I didn't grow up with. My mother is still very much here with me in Lagos. Wow. Yes. Oh no, that one left a long time ago. So, I don't know, for whatever he wants to. No, no, the only when I was a baby, yes, I did. But yeah, as, um, as an adult, you know, like when I was growing up, nah. So probably you say, nah, you wouldn't give me up on that. I wouldn't, I, I don't want, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs>